What's up, Titan Nation? So the saga continues at the right tackle position. Jamarco Jones was released today, and per Jim Wyatt's camp notes, he says things got feisty once again, and once again, Jamarco Jones was right in the middle of it. On a Malik Willis pitch to running back Jonathan Ward, Jones went full steam into the back of linebacker Chance Campbell, who was in a position to make the play. Upset defenders rushed to the scene with linebacker Aziz Shire, Al Shire getting especially fired up. Coaches and teammates calmed Shire down. At one point, GM Rand Carthon talked to him. It resulted in another early exit for Jones, who was also dismissed from the practice field following altercation with defensive lineman Jeffrey Simmons on Thursday. Coach Vrabel didn't like the block either. We don't want to practice like that. It would be a penalty in the game, Vrabel said. You have to know how to practice. We talk about it all the time, about being competitive and going to that line. So we're not going to do anything that hurts the team. We won't want. We don't want to see that. And the Titans released Jones not too long ago. They just uh, reported this. So um, basically, this goes back to who's going to be starting at right tackle. Now the Titans did bring on Chris Hubbard who started um, quite a few games in his career. Um, so it'll be interesting to see. I know Chris Hubbard does have some experience. Um, he hasn't pay, played much in the last couple years. He's been injured and things like that. But right now, I would assume that he's obviously the front runner and the next man up in that position. Um, you got a handful of guys... Uh, behind Hubbard, I mean, potentially the rookie Jalen Duncan might get a shot. There's some uh, UFAs on the team. Zach Johnson, um, John Ojokwu, if I'm saying that right. Um, so there's another guy, Andrew Rupchick. Apparently he's uh, slotted on the left tackle, though. So I don't know. We'll see what happens, but the saga continues, and unfortunately for Nicholas Petit Ferrer, um, the gambling situation hurt us pretty bad. Um, I know, you know, he didn't gamble on football, and I'm, I'm sure he was confused about the rules or whatever. He seems like a really good guy. I mean, he's real smart and everything. I'm sure it was really a mistake, and, you know, the NFL's got to do something about this whole gambling situation um they gotta you know figure out something uh put in some uh different stipulations and stuff like that but anyways let us know what you think in the comments um I, i'm really interested to see who you guys think should get that shot um fortunately uh dylan radens is still recovering from that injury so i believe he's even out of the question so Anyways, let us know what you think. Also, guys, we have partnered up with an awesome um, company called Caldera Labs. Um, they do skincare products for men. So usually you hear it, you know, all these products, they come out for women. But Caldera Lab actually has skincare products for uh, men. I've been using them for the last couple weeks. They sent us a bunch of testers. Really good stuff. Um, you can get a discount with them. 20% discount with our code TITAN, T-I-T-A-N, at calderalab.com. So go there, check out their products. They got some great stuff, 20% off any order. Um, so go check them out. Anyways, guys, tighten up. Thank you all so much for tuning in, and we'll see you next time. <laughs>